We explain how the European nations jockeyed for control of the Western Hemisphere. By the 1750s, the Spanish colonies had expanded from California to Florida and from Mexico to the southern tip of South America. Spain also ran an island empire in the Caribbean that included places like the Dominican Republic, Cuba, Trinidad, and Puerto Rico. New France ran along the St. Lawrence River colonies of Montreal and Quebec, around the Great Lakes and down the Ohio Valley, down the Mississippi and into New Orleans. France also controlled parts of the Caribbean and Haiti and Martinique. England's claims stretched up and down the Atlantic seaboard from Canada to Georgia, as well as in the Caribbean with the Bahamas, Jamaica, and the Caymans. All three controlled islands in the West Indies, and all three were heavily invested in slavery. The nations of Europe scrambled for overseas colonies, markets in East Asia, resources in the Americas, slaves, the mercantilist vision of owning all the world's gold combined with constant fighting in Europe to gain thrones. All this was a major catalyst for change. Shifting alliances, shifting treaties, trying to maintain a balance of power between empires while attempting to fight the religious wars through native conversion led to a series of colonial wars that could really be called world wars. The fighting ranged from Canada to the Caribbean to India to the East Indies, and in the end left Great Britain as the master of the globe. Louis XIV's reign in France inspired much of the fighting, as he attempted to change the nature of New France into making it a major colony. He had to compete with the British in Canada, along the Great Lakes, and in the Ohio Valley. The two sides fought a series of war with the help of their native allies, which included the Iroquois Confederacy for the British and the Huron for the French. Coupled with wars of royal succession in Europe, each side would launch raiding parties on each other's settlements in Acadia and Maine and along the St. Lawrence River. First came King William's War in 1689-97, through 97, followed by Queen Anne's War in 1702-13, in which the British took Acadia and also removed the Spanish from St. Augustine. The British and the Spanish would sign a Treaty of Asiento, which gave the English the right to trade slaves in Spain. King George's War followed in 1744-48, and then the British traded land in Canada for land in India. Before the Spanish gave up Florida, the rivalry between them and France picked up into war when Spain attacked a nearby French Huguenot colony in Fort Caroline, Florida. The French retaliated by attacking the Spanish. Spain was using Florida as the place to guard the Caribbean route for their treasure ships. The French controlled the Mississippi, so Spain and France often clashed in the Gulf colonies, not to mention their clashes in the Caribbean over islands like Hispaniola, where France would create Haiti. The French tried to hold their American colonies by building forts up and down the Mississippi and across the Ohio Valley. The French saw all of this fortification in the Ohio Valley as necessary to guard their fur trading routes and also to protect their native allies against British claims that they controlled the valley. After Pontiac's rebellion, the French and the British clashed in what would become known as the French and Indian War from 1754 to 63. In the end, England would gain all of Canada, Spanish Florida, and all the land up and down the Mississippi. The natives were left to face the English colonists.